Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. I don't know if you'll be able to see this on the, this camera or not. This is the little solar powered light that Eileen sent us from Canada for Marfi. Isn't that neat? Very pretty. It keeps flashing like that till about 10 o'clock at night. It's just about six o'clock right now. It's almost dark. If you'll look over here, it's pretty dark. Look up there, it's not so dark. So you have green, blue, purple, kind of a yellow color. Now, it's interesting here now, I'm, I'm seeing different colors on the camera than I'm seeing in my eye. Angel, very neat. <laughs> that probably means nothing to most people, but it's very nice, Eileen. We really appreciate it. Looks really cool out the kitchen window. I could say there's not not much going on here at six o'clock. I'm waiting for some rice to cook up and then have a sandwich or something for dinner, I guess. And be real simple. Right. Looks like a jungle down that way. Can't really see it, but I take it down and show you the the keyhole. Tomatoes are doing good. We got the second thing of tomatoes down there. There are bats just flew by. That's kind of neat. There's a big bat right there. See him? Yep. Isn't that cool? I don't know if you can see that or not. Huge bat. Here he comes again. Landing up in the tree. <laughs> Hope you can see that. It's pretty cool. Another smaller bat just went by. Probably waiting for me to get out of the way so they can come down and eat some papayas probably. Sometimes at night you hear a lot of real wild, like sound like rat screeches or something, but it's actually a bat. That's another, got a, three or four, there, there it goes in, just chuck off. See if he swings back around. There he is right there, see it? That was pretty cool. Pretty close. Here he comes back again. That's not a super big one either, it's a big fat one. Some of them look way bigger than that. They're fox bats. They have big, long, skinny face. Got a little one keeps cutting back and forth in front of my face here. <laughs> that was pretty neat. I think the smaller ones are eating mosquitoes and stuff. I think the bigger ones are pretty much... There goes one right there. Ooh, that was pretty cool. Don't know what variety he is, but... I think it's a different bat. Someone said there was over 100, 100 varieties of, of bats here in the Philippines. I don't mind bats at all as long as they're not in the house. There he is right there, about four foot away from me. <laughs> probably coming by me because I'm drawing mosquitoes probably. Something's hitting the guy wires on the... Uh, On the uh, internet thing hits the wire all the time makes a big like a guitar sound I'm sure it's the bats I'm sure their sonar doesn't allow them to see a wire I was always there goes real close to me I was always impressed with bats when I was a kid I watched something on PBS and they they showed the how a bat could his sonar was so good that he could fly through a spinning fan, which was just incredible. How could it possibly do that without touching the fan? Let's see, we get another shot of the bat come by us here. Pretty boring, I'm sure you're watching this. I'm sorry, I'm just showing you 
silhouettes. It's a papaya tree in front of us. So maybe we get one more silhouette of them. One more picture of the lake. Thanks so much, Eileen. We really appreciate it. Something nice like this is pretty cool. All right. Well, I guess that's all I have for you now. A real short little video. Please click like and subscribe. You can contact us anytime at Blind Owl Outdoors at gmail.com. Thank you very much. Have a great day. I know.